Hey watch friends, today we're going to do a candid unboxing of a new piece coming from MW Timepieces. This is referred to as the Legato Diver. From the early picks, I'm really looking forward to checking this one out. This is going to be a Kickstarter campaign coming in early 2022. Tentatively, they have it slated for around April of 2022 with a date to be set. So wanted to uh, get in here first and give a uh, first look. I will, of course, have the full review and everything coming up as well. And unfortunately, do note, this one is a uh, loner into the channel. It's a prototype, and unfortunately, it does have that dreaded open by uh, customs and resealed. So hopefully everything arrived intact. Sometimes they can do a number on the, uh, the packages here. I do want to mention up front as well, uh, while this is a loaner and prototype into the channel, I do believe they intend to send one uh, of the production model into me. Uh, so I'm very uh, very much looking forward to that, but do also want to be transparent and upfront about those pieces. All right, so first, we just looks like have some initial promotional uh, material here, and you can check this out. There's uh, going to be some changes, and we'll talk about all this in the full review, but this gives you an idea. I realize I'm panning pretty quickly there, but if you want to pause on anything, we'll have the full review, though, like I said, coming up. This is mainly just wanted to uh, candidly share with the uh, first experience for you. All right, so here we have the outer box. With this, I expect that this packaging will likely change. It's a very nice box overall, but it doesn't have any branding or anything. It just has the uh, the tag there. And oh, you know what? We got a spoiler. So it looks like we have the teal version of this coming. I wasn't sure what was which version we were going to be looking at, but very nice outer box. Oh, wow. Look at that inner box. This is really, really nice quality. Let's get that. Okay, so it has like a flap on the front, so you can slide that out. And then once we open that up here, we have very nice, this feels like it's real, uh, real wood, extremely nicely finished on this. It actually reminds me of a higher quality version of the early Zelos uh, packaging materials. So this is just fantastic. So in terms of unboxing experience and first impression, right off the bat, I've got to say I'm extremely impressed. Feeling this in hand, it feels extremely solid, feels very well made. I like this a lot. I'm hoping the watch itself lives up to this. I can tell you, being here, I actually have even a nice uh, wood smell coming from this one. So that's pretty awesome. All right, flipping this open. Oh, man. Okay, so here we go. Up at the top, it looks like they kept, and this is a nice touch. So you get it branded with MW timepieces for microfiber cloth. But they actually use that. I like this for green friendliness, but additionally uh, for uh, the overall appearance. That's a pretty nice touch. So they have this actually covering the watch to protect it. As far as the warranty card... This is actually very reminiscent of Zellos here as well. This is a nice metal heavy warranty card. You can see you have fancy, emb uh, fancy embellishments there with the, uh, the laser. And then this is, it looks like printed. Actually, no, I think that's milled down in for, uh, for that. But nice touch there. And then it looks like it will have a booklet for it as well. Just your basic information about your movement and that stuff. So briefly, I'm talking about the uh, the specs, which first for the movement there, not sure if it picked up on that or not, but this is coming with an, uh, a uh, Salida SW200 for the movement. So it has a nice Swiss uh, Swiss movement, you know, your fa fairly standard uh, ETA 2024 equivalency. Oh man, I am loving this watch head right off the bat. All right, so we've got this thoroughly going here. So we're going to have a good time trying to uh, trying to unwrap this one. As you can see, they protected the heck out of this uh, this head here. Everything is wrapped up. Everything is separately packaged. As you can see here, you have nice for your screwdriver. It looks like they have what I presume is a leather strap that appears to be very pliable. Oh, it's a dull color here, so you have a darker. So not only contrast stitching on the underside, but you actually have a darker, so a contrast coloration there, which is a pretty cool touch. And then it looks like nice uh, nice buckle that's subtly signed there as well. So looking good so far. And then let's check out this bracelet. Obviously, as you saw, it does ship off the bracelet. Want to look at the, uh, off of the uh, strap and bracelet rather. Want to look at these basic things first. Okay, so overall, um, overall construction, looks like we've got very good articulation on this, uh, this bracelet. So that should be pretty comfortable. Should have nice drape, obviously fitted. And this is going to be solid end links. You do have quick release spring bars, and this is dual style, so you can just pull those. So that'll be easy to get this installed here. The clasp, it looks like, you know, a little um, chunkier, though it's not disproportionate uh, for this. I would say it's relatively uh, standard, not one of the thicker ones that we've checked out. It does have a milled bridge. You've got, it looks like, two, four, six micro-adjust holes, basic fold-over and double-pusher construction there. So 
nothing uh, to complain about on this. Weight wise, you know, it, it feels like a nice, uh, nice balance. It's not real heavy, uh, but at the same time, it's not a uh, super light one either. Okay, so let's set that aside, and then I'll get this, of course, um, popped up, popped on for the for view. But let's check out this watch head. As you can see here, the main thing for this with calling it the Legato Diver, the um, that is a musical Legato is a musical reference there. And this truly is an homage. It's really trying to combine the dual interest going with a guitar theming as well as a dive watch. And as you can see, this is just a very vibrant teal color. And I will do comparisons in the full review with some other teal. I have uh, Zellos and some other pieces that we can check this out. But as you can see on that bezel insert, and that I believe is a sapphire uh, bezel insert, you can see what looks like guitar strings. And I will tell you, I'm not a musician. I'm not uh, very versed there, but you can see like the uh, the bridge and uh, the uh, the pieces that you, you push on there. You've got the dots going around, but you even have those touches as you go around for the actual markers all around. Look how cool that is. And I don't know if it's picking up on it or not, but those actually, in addition to being loomed, it has a brushed or polished area in the middle, as well as the perimeter of that very unique look. And I think is extremely fitting with the overall theme of being the, uh, the guitar style uh, for this. So I'm really liking that. Here's the, uh, the case profile. As you can see, in addition to the quick release spring bars, it does have drilled lugs. You have nice uh, horizontal, so lengthwise brushing there. You've got polished accents on both the top and the bottom, nice chamfer cut. There's the overall silhouette. Here it is sitting on my six and a half inch wrist just to give you a quick idea of this. As far as sizing, the case is coming in at 39 and a half. The lugs are 20 millimeters. The lug to lug is only going to be 46 millimeters. The thickness is a nice felt 12 millimeters. And then as we already talked about, the movement is an SW200, Salita SW200. You can see the date at the six o'clock position, screw down crown, looks like nice knurling on that. That is signed as well. It looks like it might be loomed, but we'll check that out further. This case back, as you can see, it is a uh, screw held in with screws, so it's not screwed down, but you can see very fanciful that I think is very fitting for the overall theme. And then check out that with the exhibition case back. You've got these polished, what looks like, I don't know if that's um, printed or if that's actually steel. I'm assuming that's printed, but it's like a chrome-like printing uh, that's on that. So that looks like the, uh, the guitar strings going across the back there. Just extremely cool watch out out of the uh, the box here. I've got to say, I was excited to uh, check this one out. Wait until you see the uh, the loom patterns. You've got the hands, you've got the markers, and it actually even has that bezel insert with that cool pattern going all the way around. So I'm really looking forward to uh, to spending more time with this one, getting to know it, and share the uh, the full review with you. So I hope this has been fun as a uh, first look. If you did enjoy this video, please do hit that like button. Additionally, for this one and many others we have coming up, please do smash that subscribe button as well. It's tremendously appreciated and greatly helps the channel. Thanks for watching.